the Berenstain Bears and the Ghost of the Forest. Look out for Papa, said Brother Bear as the Bear Scouts tiptoed down the stair. We won't need Pa, Sister Bear said. Not this trip, agreed Cousin Fred. I see. You scouts are on your way into Great Spooky Forest for an overnight stay. Pa, I hope you'll excuse us, said Brother Bear. But this is a trip we'd rather not share. It's also a trip I'd rather not share. Me? Sleep with spooks? Not on a dare. Spooks? gasped the scouts, not a little afraid. Spooks of all kinds! A nightly parade! And boss of the ball, the ghost of the wood. Call off the trip, scouts! I really and truly think you should. Nonsense! said Mama, who overheard. Spooks, indeed, not another word. Your papa's just trying to give you a scare. So be off with you, scouts, smiled wise Mama Bear. As the scouts waved goodbye to Mama Bear, Pa sneaked around and climbed the stair then up to the attic to the old rag box. What's Papa up to? The sly old fox. Sly Papa cut three holes in a shade and turned himself into a ghost with bare feet. Leader Jane met the scouts at the edge of the wood. No, Papa? she asked. That's very good. Papa gave us a bit of a fright. He said there are spooks and they come out at night. Spooks? That's nonsense. Now let me explain. There are no such things, said Scout Leader Jane. So the scouts went to work setting up camp raising the tent, filling the lamp, building the fire, getting it lit. Jane took time to explore a bit. She collected some leaves. She studied some seeds. That's when she heard a voice in the weeds. Chuckling and talking to himself in there was, you guessed it, Papa Q Bear. This trick will be fun, Papa Bear said as he pulled the sheet over his head. Hum, said Jane as she tiptoed away. This is a game that two can play. Then using twigs and leaves as a base, she started to make what looked like a face. The scouts told stories in the firelight. Then they all bedded down for the night. Woo! They heard it just as they started to doze. It frightened those scouts from their heads to their toes. Woo! I am the ghost of the forest! They ran to Jane's tent, but Jane wasn't there. Well, what shall we do? cried Sister Bear. Then a spookier spook came into sight and gave the first ghost a terrible fright. Woo! I am the ghost of the forest!
And who did Spook Two turn out to be? Leader Jane, of course. That's when they saw Spook Number Three. Woo! Woo! As the campers and Pa shivered and shook, Sis opened an eye and took a good look. She saw something strange: a yellow hat on a pumpkin head, Pa's red pajamas, and a polka dot dress that looked exactly like Mama's. It's a double ghost lesson," said Jane with a grin. "There are no such things. There never have been. But just as sure as night follows day, it's fun to be scared of them anyway."